There was a Colorado state representative by the name of Laurie Sane. Now she was giving a speech for Martin Luther King Day on the floor and she was made an interesting comment about lynching. They got everyone's attention, but I want you to hear exactly what she said. Let's roll the clip. Now, Representative Sane. Thank you, Madam Speaker Pro Tem. Colleagues, we are standing in the moral arc of history today as we celebrate a reverend that changed history for all Americans. We have come a long way on that arc since the Reconstruction when whites and blacks alike were in nearly equal numbers lynched for the crime of being Republican. You heard what she stated about the lynching. Now, we're going to talk about the numbers because she's way off, is nowhere near that. But let's talk about the white people that were lynched. Yes, there were white people that were lynched. There are white people that were lynched that did not agree with racism and white supremacy. They were called inward lovers. Um, they were um, people who were uh, abolitionists that were lynched. There were also politicians, mostly Republicans, um, that were lynched because Republicans was the uh, party at the time period that was, you know, against racism and white supremacy. I know that's strange to hear when it has flipped in a way where now you have the Republican party, you know, it's the party of David Duke and Richard Spencer and all the, uh, alt-right and neo-Nazi groups. That's their favorite party of the Republican party. I don't, well, I do know how that happened. Um, we want to talk about that. The Republican party, the Democrats was basically, the Republicans of today. So they were actually called the Dixiecrats. And a lot of these Dixiecrats start going to the Republican party and then they start just infusing all the racism and white supremacy. You have to remember the Ku Klux Klan's party was the Dixiecrats or now you want to call Democrats. That was actually their party. It's just American history. So now you have, you know, the outward racism that happens on, you know, a lot of people on the political right are Republican. And then even though you don't have the outward racism on the, what you would call the political left or the Democrats, but more and more people are seeing the racism come out more and more and more every day, um, definitely toward black people. Cause they are always doing a lot of slick things to our black people, pointing us out, doing this to black people, make, trying to scapegoat to black people. You know, all the new things that you're seeing about, you know, like say the R. Kelly situation, the Me Too, and, and uh, now it's the Hebrew Israelites. I mean, it's always someone, you know, on the political left is doing that a lot more than you expect the Fox News to do it and the Breitbart and all those right wing, you know, we would expect that from them. But what you're seeing is more and more those attacks are coming from those who lean politically to the left or the Democrats. And a lot of, you know, black people are starting to see that and get very, very frustrated because it's like, okay, we're getting attacked on both sides. I said, yeah. I mean, because when we say it's two sides of the same coin, it is. But when it comes to this particular woman here, you know, they had recorded from 1882 to 1968, um, 3,446 black people uh, were lynched. And that's about 73% of the lynchings that happened in the United States of America. And then you had about uh, 1,297 uh, people, about 27% that were white. And also, you believe it, I saw some pictures, I did not know, um, you know, Mexican Americans were lynched as well um, during this time period. They don't talk about it as much, but I did see the pictures of that. So. This lady is definitely not accurate at all. I mean, the majority was black people. You have to remember these people, you know, even though the term like picnic and, and you know, that term comes from pick a N word, right? And that's what they would go do. Go pick a, a, a black person to lynch. They, they go, you know, torture them, you know, do all kinds of things to them and then lynch them. I mean, they would sell tickets at their churches, you know, white Jesus. I mean, cause think about it, the real Jesus, if you was worshiping him, in spirit and truth, right? There's no way you can go sell tickets to go harm someone of God's creation. You could not do that. So that's why we know white Jesus is an idol. That's why anyone who's awakened know that white Jesus is no, a no, no, right? I mean, the, the Bible teaches that he has hair of wool and skin of bronze, not that picture of that stringy hair individual. Sorry, it just not, I mean, but you know, they were real clever to pass white Jesus to the world 
um, so they can deceive. And, and, and you know, deceiving people through religion is a powerful thing. But this woman is far from off, far from off. And um, she need to get her facts straight. That's what I will say uh, with this situation. You know, the wonderful thing about the internet today, and I like that, you could hear something and call it out. You could fact check it. So I don't know why you would make a speech and not fact check it. You think no one was gonna like check that out? I mean, anytime you mention African-Americans, you better believe the ears gonna be perked up real quick. So make sure you know what you're talking about. I mean, you could have mentioned the Republicans that was, uh, you know, lynched the uh, abolitionists and et cetera. I mean, those things did happen, but come on, you know, I mean, you could have uh, mentioned some of the white civil rights, you know, people that got, you know, killed as well. You could have mentioned that, but you didn't. So, um, you know, get your facts straight, ma'am. Well, leave me a comment, let me know what you think about this particular story. Um, you know, presenting history is a great thing. We just got to make sure we give the right information to everyone because a lot of people don't even know some of these things. And, and when you learn it, you say, oh, man, because, you know, they don't make history too interesting. And we got to learn our history so we won't repeat it.